Hundreds of kids in our area are riding home tonight on non air conditioned school buses. With the extreme heat continuing, relief on the buses isn't coming anytime soon. And that combination caused one child in Clover, South Carolina, to have a heat rash. WBTV's Claire Kopsky on your side as she spent the day in South Carolina pressing for answers. Kids start and end their school day on a school bus. In South Carolina, the state allows them to be on the bus for up to 90 minutes. On a day like today, that's a really hot ride. And the state tells me that there are no temperature gauges on buses without air conditioning, nor a policy that explain that they have to stop running during extreme weather. It looked like he just came out of the shower. That's how one South Carolina mother described her son after he got off the bus on Monday. They all had wet hair drenched shirts um, and then my son had a heat rash from the neck his torso and then down his legs. She says her son had a heat rash from sitting on a non air conditioned bus for about 30 minutes and says many of the windows wouldn't open. They tell you not to leave a kid in a car for more than 10 minutes, you know, because of how the heat rises inside of the car. It's the same thing on a school bus, but there's more people. <laughs> so it's scary as a parent, you know, is scary. She says the bus her three children rode last year had air conditioning. They drew the short straw this year as Clover School District says this is the only bus route that has a non air conditioned bus. It's the state's problem. It's the state's responsibility to replace the fleet as needed. South Carolina Department of Education told me today that in the past 10 years, 4600 buses have been replaced across the state. Right now, 92% of the state's more than 4,500 general education buses have air conditioning, and 100% of the more than 1,000 special needs buses have air conditioning. The state also told me some good news for Courtney's kids. Three of Clover's buses are slated to be replaced in September. She says she hopes that means AC will be blowing their way very soon. Push your state <laughs> to make sure we get our kids taken care of and make sure they have proper protocol on the buses for temperature to keep them safe from freezing, from overheating. They do it for the sports, they do it for recess, they should do it for the school buses too. In the interim, Clover School District tells me it's providing water for students on the route that utilizes a bus without AC. I'm told all vents and windows will be open by the drivers before they start to go pick kids up. Some good news tonight though, it sounds like some new buses are headed to this lot very soon. In Clover, I'm Claire Kopsky, WBTV News on your side.